Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I would like to share how to use my Looker Studio template to blend uh, data from Google Ads and Google Search Console. So the problem uh, that I tried to solve with this template is that by default in uh, Google Ads uh, native interface, uh, you have no option to import data from Search Console. And uh, you, uh, and why we need usually, yeah, to import data from search console to merge merge metrics by search terms. Uh, this is because uh, it help you when you run Google Ads uh, for some keywords, and then you will when find that if you get conversions for some keywords, then it probably you should invest in uh, promoting some landed pages that rank for these keywords in organic search too. So. That's why you usually, uh, you sometimes need to match data from these two, two sources. So yeah, and uh, this template helps to do that. Uh, let's dive in how it works. So we blend data from two sources. Yeah, it's like uh, a search console and Google Ads. And what important is that uh, we don't use many metrics, only uh, the ones that we use to calculate the potential of the keyboard. And um, the join key is a search query. Yeah, the query is called in the um, search console connector. And it is the same uh, as search term in Google Ads. Yeah. And I also add the one plus dimension final URLs because I also has the option to calculate not only the keyword potential, but landing page potential yeah, using this dimension. Okay, and so uh, the table of the template, uh, yeah, the first one part of the uh, template is the table. Yeah, and query is a join key, join dimension. Then we have the uh, parameter final URL from Google Ads and metric from metrics from Google Ads impressions, clicks, CTR, conversions, and average cost per click. And then we have the metrics from Search Console, impressions, clicks, CTR, and average position. And we have uh, a custom uh, metric. This is uh, like my personal formula that I created to calculate the most valuable keywords. And you can uh, see how this formula looks like. We just divide all conversions on average position. So the idea behind this formula is that uh, more conversions the keyword has, this keyword means more valuable and um, the higher average position, yeah, close to top, uh, the easiest for you to get traffic from that and to boost it higher, yeah. If you rank on the, uh, like, uh, let's see an, an example, yeah. So if we have the um, 44 error finder page, it has one of the best uh, keyword potential, yeah using these uh, calculations, uh, using this um, column. And it ranks on the number four position in organic search. So it means that uh, it has conversions. We have the proof of value. And we know that we are very close to this, uh, like uh, to the first position, to the best possible value in organic search. Yeah. So it, uh, it means that you should work on this keyword first in your uh, search engine optimization of efforts. And then we have two tables, the sc scatter charts. Uh, uh, then it's like the same as for this table, but in much easier way, yeah. So the higher um, the uh, bubble and the, um, uh, the closer to the right, uh, the better the value, yeah. For example, we see that brand keywords like the checker pro and the checker we have rank on the number one position in organic search and it has many conversions in google ads it's usually like uh, the case when the brand keywords has uh, the best uh, values here and for example we also find some insights for example the keyword broken link checker has many conversions and it uh, rank on 33 position average position so um, we already have the proof of value that this keyword can convert, uh, can bring conversions. So we should invest some time in link building, 
like content updating, adding internal backlinks and so on to get uh, to um, boost organic search rankings of this keyword. Yeah, uh, and the same we have for the URLs. Yeah, so formulas the same, but apply to the landing pages and scatter charts also. So it's very easy uh, template, uh, but very valuable because it helps you to prioritize your uh, efforts in search engine optimization. Yeah. So that's all. If you have any questions, write me. Oh, yeah. What important thing is how to copy it properly. Yeah. Uh, so when you will buy the template, you can is, uh, easily use it even without copy. You just use uh, native connectors I created here. Uh, however, if you would like to copy it and became the owner of the template and maybe make some edits here, so you should open the template, then click make a copy and you will find three data sources. Yeah. So in my text guide, I will apply, uh, I will add the link to this guide. You, you can see on which, uh, order you should connect sources. Yeah. So there are three sources. The first one is like Google search console URL. Let me show you. Search console, uh, URL impression and web connect. Then uh, the same, yeah, and uh, let's start, name it. You also should add a name, I uh, guess, uh, URL. You can add uh, any name you, you want, just you should, uh, it's, uh, you, you should recognize uh, which type of data set you added, yeah? Then we add also search console connector, uh, but uh, site impression, not URL impression. Also add in a name. And the last one, yeah, as you see here, we add the Google Ads property. Oh so, yeah, and after that, uh, like in in my account, uh, this account I have no uh, properties. But after that, when you uh, add the, the last one property, just click the uh, copy and. Uh, you will get the uh, the report and you will be able to edit it as you want. So that's all. If you have any questions, write them uh, under the comments, uh, under the video in the comments, and I will be glad to help you uh, with answers. Have a nice day.